Hello everyone, this is part two and we are starting with the continuation of method number one or method number two discussed in part one. Now, method number three that helped me is to know the VMVs and graduate attributes of the institute always helps in knowing the VMVs of any organization. VMVs, you know, vision, mission, or values so it's very important to consider for us as teachers that we have to develop that understanding or acknowledgement uh, among our students that it's why it's important for them to know the vision mission or values of the institute that they are studying in or the graduate attributes that they have to have at the end of their uh, study time because GAs are not in a specific book. You don't see them, that this is the book of GAs. No, it's embedded in our curriculum. Now, if you understand how critical it is to know the VMVs or the GAs of the institute you are studying, it will definitely help them to realize how serious is the business to understand the VMV of the organization that they would like to work in. For their job so this is method number three what I do I show them this is again from one of my class that where are the vision mission or value statements or the goals or the strategy statements are they're always on the website of any any organization each and every word of these VMVs or goals is valuable for the organization because this is their their i would say their vision their 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 dream to achieve so if you would like to be really uh, the favorite candidate of your employers you should tailor your answers in such a way that you have taken the idea or the important areas of the priorities or the goals or the values or from the mission or the vision statements and then you develop your own answers so they understand ah okay so this is the vision of the institute we are studying here like the same if they are going for any job so they have to first check the website they have to understand what is the dream of that institution or that organization to achieve what do what do they like to see the ideal uh, i would say uh, characteristics among the employees uh, as suggested in the values so that that discussion that study of the website that study of the vmvs or strategies or goal is uh, very much important and it helps them now, if you look at here, this is the current, uh, uh, I would say, the goals of the University of Technology and Applied Sciences. So I show it to them. I discuss them. And whatever I'm showing to you, it's in the earlier classes. Like you don't do it in the end or in the middle of the semester. You can, but better in the, in the, in the initial meetings. So I show it to them. You are studying in, the, in this institute and this is the goal these are the goals of this institute you have to focus on institutional excellence you have to be excellent in achieving um, your academic performance uh, pursuing the excellence in the research innovation and entrepreneur entrepreneurship and this then I connect to the definition of their role as youth as per the vision 2040 building sustainable and strategic partnership so we discuss these things i show it to them and as for the uh, strategic plan of uh, like the previous strategic plan that we have these were the vmvs uh, earlier we had the motto too so i show it to them just for the sake of making them understand that every institution every organization is built up on a thought system values it has a vision 
it has certain goals that they really really uh, respect and they want to achieve and they want to see all those things or those attributes all those skills among their um, employees then I show them the graduate attributes this is the current graduate attributes and you can see communication skill is there teamwork and leadership is there lifelong learning the soft skills of 21st century is there right creativity and innovation is critical thinking so we are doing what is already there in the graduate attributes we are discussing the visions we are discussing the reason of them to be in the class to be at the Institute why they they should know that and then I show them I sh the the previous uh, graduate attributes um, and the group skills now this is what I help them to find out when you have any uh, job that you would like to go for you have to prepare yourself considering that the ideal candidate requirements is already described already described in the uh, requirements itself with the uh, responsibility of the you know of the job that what the person has to do or the you know the qualification or the personal attributes that we are looking forward to so you can well prepare yourself before the interview you can tailor your answers you can see the skill ah, okay they are looking for um, technical documentation someone who can do editing someone who can write someone who is good and this and that. so all these highlighted areas are there prior to their uh, selection prior to their call for the interview they should know that these are those areas that the questions could be built upon and also I help them to find out how to see the pain points of any organization and what if the pain points are not available uh, because who who which kind of a company would that be which kind of an organization would that be that would like to show the pain points uh, to the world no they don't so I teach them how to do that so they can go to the uh, review comments or they, they can see the people you know um, opinions on their websites and they can understand they can look at the number at the end of uh, the year um, to identify whether the products or the outcomes are as handsome or are as promising as per the goals of the uh, organization so these areas are very important for the students to understand it helps to improve their professional attitude before they are hired or before they are appearing for a job interview so what happens we have uh, a quick formula if you see now the students are able to understand the importance of VMVs strategies goals the value of it to the management or to the organization that they would like to go for the job they have read the um, ideal candidates requirements they understand actually that what should be the prerequisites of the job and in case they were able to find out any gap between the outcome and the goal of any organization they can smartly put it into their answers not straight away in the first few answers but somehow that how you are going to help us or why shall we hire you or things like that they can smartly uh, put their answers um, looking at the pain points now what do we have in our pocket we have the VMVs we have goals we have ideal candidate requirements plus the pain point pain points in case if there is any now it's a sample that students are tailoring their answers I believe in innovation and creativity which could be which could be the uh, key words in the goal or in the values or even in the attributes you know of that uh, organization that I can see is in common now here is the, the pin I would say here is that you are going to attract them uh, as for your company's goal so uh, this is just a sample answer uh, I, I am showing to you but the students can create better than that and they really did 
Now, what is the learning? What is the G attainment, uh, the outcome of that understanding? Their critical thinking skill is improved because they are discussing why why should we do that why should we understand what is the value of the vmvs what is the value of gold statement what is the value i need a job i need money i need to go i'm excited i'm done with my graduation no it's not like that you have to understand the seriousness of the business it helps the improvement of their professional attitude so students become more focused and knowledgeable their professionalism, as I said, and sense of maturity in drafting their answers is enhanced. And believe me, as I said, some of them will really surprise you with impressive answers. Top of everything, it helps in the institution in the OAAQA audit. What happens when the OAAQA auditors are coming to any institution? Don't they meet the candidates? I mean, sorry, don't they meet the students? They meet the graduates. They meet the students from different levels. Now, there are certain interviews which are planned interviews, but there are some interviews which are callback interviews, uh, or there are some interviews which are random interviews. You should create the understanding or awareness of VMVs, goals, graduate attributes among the students on the institutional level so that every student is able to to answer the question of the auditors that yes we understand that this institute that we are studying in it has it has a target to achieve it has a vision it has a mission and we are well aware about it we are also well aware about our our contribution into the achievement of that target so that would be definitely a big yes from the auditors now, method number four, always fill in students' pockets with employability tips and current trends. Now, I understand we have a tough time. We have a not tough time. I would say we have a, a, a curriculum to complete. We have a schedule. We have, um, you know, week-wise uh, planning, lesson planning. All right, everything goes on. But in case you got something in addition to what you are already providing them, so, and it is very much helpful for the students, and you go beyond what is there in the curriculum, they would love it because it shows that you are taking care of them like, a, like a, a person who is very close to them. They respect, they, they really appreciate such efforts. Uh, and also regarding the current trends, you tell them that they have to go with current studies. Whatever is going on in the job market, they should be aware of it. So, for instance, I show them, uh, this is the most uh, common question in the, you know, you can say uh, social media or students are also questioning about it. Like, teacher, what if there are problem solving questions to us? So how well we can uh, answer those questions? And, you know, there are multiple examples of problem solving questions. What is your uh, greatest strength? what is your uh, weakness how well you have to answer these questions what if uh, we are hiring you what are you going to add into our uh, organization or why shall we hire you or if they put you in a situation and they want you to solve that situation so how you are going to answer that so this is something which uh, is based on the student's personal interest and you can provide them uh, with the you know uh, current trends so I told I tell them uh, as far as the formula is uh, concerned yes you should be able to answer the problem solving skills question but if you have any any experience uh, now as they are the freshies they might not have a professional experience but they can have an experience in the class or in the institute itself or when they were in a project so how it helped you to uh, accomplish the, the, that uh, task or help that problem to create a story so for creating the story I, sh I show them the method of star which is situation you set up the scene then you tell what was the task and then you say uh, what did you do and then the result you share the outcome so i don't mind if i show them a solved example of uh, a problem solution uh, question for instance if they have if they are saying like 
uh, have you ever solved a problem and they are able to answer if any one of them has any experience or even if they don't have an experience this answer can help making up their mind to draft their answers while working as an advertising manager i was tasked with developing an advertising campaign for one of our large clients the campaign targeted an event that would host important business and community leaders we had a very strict timeline and budget so i got to work straight away now what is this this is the situation this is the setting up the scene well, halfway into the project, the department director informed me that he miscalculated the project deadline. Unfortunately, we needed to complete the project 30% faster than planned. Given our existing processes and system, I didn't believe we could get the project done in time while meeting all of the client's expectations. Now, what is that part? This is the task, uh, the purpose. Now, rather than risk uh, losing the client, I saw this as a good opportunity to implement a new strategy. I have been thinking about that would streamline our advertising campaign process. I was thrilled with the result. Now, what is that? Uh, this is the action. Okay. Now, going into the further part of the action, uh, because of the new system I put in place, we got the project done on time and under budget. I was then later recognized at an annual banquet uh, dinner of my hard work and dedication to this account. Now, this is the uh, result or the outcome of the whole uh, story, uh, which ended up in a very good way. And it also showed that the person has capability to work under pressure he had taken that challenge as an opportunity and he was earlier already thinking about that strategy and now it was the time to uh, bring it forward and work upon so okay teacher we understand now like that so it helps them how rather than saying I like that yes I helped that how did you help how did you how did you solve the problem itself so you you can fill up their pocket with something additional in case they ask and i this educational channel is the, of course an online educational resource for my students specifically when we had that pandemic situation so when there was uh, some issues students couldn't come so i created uh, online material for them and I gave it for them uh, to see as uh, you know homework and then we discussed it upon a meeting in the next few weeks uh, as there was uh, you know Shaheen cyclone we couldn't meet so the students came up and uh, this material was used as uh, you know best example of flipped classes uh, what is the learning? What is the graduate attribute? Uh, you are giving them a lifelong bond with you. You are having a relationship with your students and they would respect and love you forever. They understand that this teacher is really worried about our learning and really wants to give us something that is additional to our understanding and you know she goes or he goes beyond the expectation so this bond you would have forever with your students i meet my students who are uh, like five years um, ago they were my students and now mashallah they are uh, working and it's they, they still remember so if sometimes by any means you forget their name they tell you teacher you said that and it brings you uh, a happiness like uh, they still remember each and every word that you gave to them the care so this respect and affection who doesn't want that method five the primary role to manage and discipline a class is of the teacher this might have a discussion or you know maybe some of you disagree but believe me or not uh, most of the responsibility goes to the teacher to play the role of uh, a person who is the real manager managing the environment managing the relationship between the students and the and the teacher managing the task might not be the action uh, person but you are the real uh, manager to do everything 
you if you want to lead them towards some activity you are managing every everything related to that activity if you want them to role play you are there to support them you are there to guide them so over here uh, I'm talking about the disciplining a class uh, is again the teacher is the one who to me is the primary person to play his role so I'm going to share some tips which helped me for the time management and sense of responsibility now you can see in this this is again another class I gave a task to the students on Wednesday itself and I told them that you are supposed to submit me the assignment by sun, uh, Saturday yeah, Saturday evening at 10 o'clock. I, I gave them time, no issue, 10 o'clock. Some of the students uh, provided me or sent me their assignment on Wednesday itself. So I wrote the name of each and every student along with the time of their submission right and these are the slides I'm using these slides in the class and I'm showing it to them I'm showing it to them in the next meeting now on Thursday this is the record for the for the Thursday submission and Friday one of the students she was absent because she was sick but still she submitted me the, ta the, the assignment now Saturday you can see that the time limit was 10 o'clock, but this student submitted me by 10.50, right? So, I've shown to the student that your submission is recorded. I know who submitted when, at what time, on what day, right? And then I'm saying thank you so much to those who have uh, submitted their assignment on time but at the same time I am talking about the responsibility of the student once again on time submission of any homework or assignment is critical every act is observed and rated because we have uh, CP marks that is class participation so I explain it to them so I reiterate the importance of the students responsibility and their sense of responsibility or independent learning is uh, improved and time management skill is something you have to learn i explained this to the student that this is a skill you have to learn through this small assignment submission and i really thank to the high flyers and timekeepers now what's happening here students they whosoever submitted the time whenever observes that i'm there my time is there okay in the end the teacher is thanking to those students who have submitted their work on time so appreciation always work if you are appreciating a student the other student by nature would like to have that appreciation you know so the next time they would perform well or they would like to be on time and it helped me definitely it helped me and students really uh, valued the submission of time so the learning or the G attainment timeliness is in completing the task is important it's a matter of commitment if teacher is saying something that 10 o'clock on Saturday Eve is the timing so we have to be committed to that because she is committed to her timeline lifelong learning when I emphasize this Sometimes, you know, students, uh, maybe they have taken it lighter, on a lighter uh, scale. But when they see that teacher is so particular about every single second, they keep it in their mind forever. This becomes like a lifelong learning. So it helps to uh, improve their soft skills. Motivation to improve performance, yes, as I explained how you are appreciating a student and it helps the others to like to be them, uh, to like to be, you know, those who are also appreciated. Self-discipline is also enhanced. Teacher manages us well as she follows us up. So they understand that they cannot, they cannot ignore the value of time because teacher is keeping the record of each and every uh, submission they realize they have to earn the grades not only to get the grades 
so they have to show me the sense of responsibility so this is one of the tips that I uh, I uh, have taken you know help from uh, method number six teach them how to be organized and well equipped with evidence-based records now if you believe or not these two tips note taking or word of the day is something which really helped my students in uh, valuing um, or I would say uh, developing a, a habit of uh, making notes for instance if we are in a in a in a professional life we are attending to a meeting there are important uh, minutes we have to keep record of um, minutes of, uh, of our meetings in case we are not the record keeper but I can have my personal record I can have my personal notebook where I can mention or oh, this meeting was conducted on that day and that these were the points that we had discussed so this record is definitely going to help me with or I there would be some important uh, point discussed or something in addition to that point uh, agenda point was discussed I would be mentioning it there in my own personal diary in my personal notebook in future in case if I am uh, asked for or an evidence or if I am involved by any means I can even show the record of that uh, meeting so I help my students to uh, you know to develop that habit with note taking or word of the day now what is it uh, I ask my students to keep a notebook it's very much important and I observe it every second day I just quickly move around in the class and I look at a, every student's notebook uh, because every student notebook should have on the top uh, the day the date and the meeting number which meeting number is that and also I'm giving them word of the day for instance we have to provide our students with uh, professional words and their meanings and then we are doing the uh, drill exercises to uh, remember these words forever so this word of the day is also a very um, useful uh, method you are giving good vocabulary to your students but I can give a vocabulary 50 words on a paper and every student would have the meaning no I I want to I want my students to remember that word in a way they are wearing it so this fair practice where I ask my students to stand up for instance there is a word industrious so I want them to stand up and uh, choose any partner in the class and talk about that word for six minutes and then we change the partners and then and it's a mixed uh, gender activity like boys versus girls and they are enjoying it a lot and during that I am moving around and I'm just listening what's going on and in the end I just write down on the board what I heard and uh, what could be improved so they wear that that word of the day is their most favorite activity by the way so I asked my students to share some of the, the their notebooks and they shared with me so you can see phenomenal extensively great change in the progress fanatical keen so these are the word of the days and you can see the dates are also there legit transitional uh, procrastination and this is 21st February and industrious goal-oriented and these are the sample answers that they were working on this is another student and they have uh, gr written graduate attribute strategic plan reliable trustworthy um, and I told them to watch some TED talks things like that what is the learning what is the outcome of that activity note-taking minutes taking record keeping and I already have talked about it it's very important and it's an employability scale new vocabulary re related to the employment and professional life uh, they have their pockets full with nice words because if you if you you know give them a lot of words and a lot of the the number of the words is so much that they are overwhelmed to remember it or to use it so every class you give them a word and you let them practice 
understanding how you can use it. Uh, it uh, helps them to be confident speakers uh, because they love the prayer practice and sometimes when I'm moving around in the, initially in, in the first classes when I'm moving around and I'm uh, you know just trying to be a silent person but they stop talking when I'm passing by and it's an interesting time you know we, we are exchanging uh, smiles and I tell them no please continue talking uh, and, and then it became a practice because they learn in the end of the prayer practice the teacher is discussing saying how should that be and how should that not be so it's a lifelong learning again uh, they would never forget that uh, they would keep that habit of even maybe they are going for a grocery they are writing it even if they are uh, planning for any trip somewhere they will write down what are the steps to be written or if they have uh, if they are done with the trip might they be writing a paper or a, I mean a, a paragraph about it uh, in the end, again, it's a well-organized uh, quality candidate. They call, you get a person. You are preparing a person in your class who is keeping the record, and keeping record is the uh, quality uh, prerequisites that I would say. Uh, I would like to end uh, this part here, and uh, I would be meeting you in the third part. Have a blessed time.